All right, so I have here this uh, U-Doors uh, popcorn popper. And I happen to really like this design because we used to have one of those um, air poppers with a chute that you put a bowl to catch the popcorn uh, as it pops into. And I'm sure you've seen those. Those are the you know, more common kind to, uh, to use. And the problem with those is that the, the bowl, sometimes the popcorn kernels, if they're not popped yet, they kind of explode in the bowl and then you end up with a mess all over the kitchen. And what I like about this is that the, um, it's contained all inside of this. The, the pop, popcorn has a place to go. Uh, where it's all contained and won't explode all over the kitchen. So it's a pretty cool design. Um, I've got a couple of complaints, though, about it. Um, it's not perfect. It could, could be improved, but here, I'll show you. Let me, uh, let me put the, uh, the kernels in, and then I'll show you. Okay. Uh, pause this for a moment. Okay, it's starting to pop. And uh, problem number one, I don't know if it's going to demonstrate it this time, but sometimes the unpopped kernels can actually fit through these holes, these vents on the top, and then you end up with unpopped, oh, there, yeah, one actually, <laughs> that's kind of cool, it went into the, back into the bowl, uh, but so, oh, one just actually went overboard. Um, it happens sometimes that they can leak out of here. I wish these holes were smaller, and more like these vents over here. The other problem, I think we just, oh, one more, okay. The other problem, which mm -hmm. thankfully didn't uh, show itself this time, but I've had a couple other times, it's a little bit here, you see how there's a gap there? Okay, that wasn't there when we started. See, I push it against it, the gap goes away. Over time, as it vibrates, it actually starts to kind of dance away from the unit. And then when that happens, you can get popcorn actually falling down inside of here. And you can't really close it. You can't push it closed because it's stuck. And then you just more and more of it starts getting caught down there. And then you end up with this just kind of a mess of things that are just falling out of the machine. Um, I wish there was a way to kind of lock this into place. Maybe a latch here or something. It could be a better design, but... Um, Oh, no, it's still a head and shoulders better than having one of the chutes with a bowl underneath it. So I really like it. Uh, I'm going to continue using it. Uh, but, um, you know, it's not it's not perfect. So, I, I, you know, I give it four stars and not five because it could be so easily made so much better. Just make these holes smaller, make some kind of locking mechanism, and then this thing is easily a five-star uh, product. Um, one other thing to, to know if you're going to buy this, the, the heating elements, just like a lot of... Um, uh, cooking uh, things, uh, sandwich makers, and uh, different kinds of, uh, of of heating elements like this that you that you get from Amazon. Um, when you first get it, there's like a coating that has to be burned off, and it smells a little bit. Um, but uh, after about the third time that you use it, the smell will be gone. So maybe the first couple of times don't actually. You know, I, I actually didn't want to eat the popcorn the first time I used it because I thought it smelled like this chemical thing burning off. But uh, by the third time, the smell is gone, and you know, it's just like any other appliance that. Uh, uh, you know, these overseas appliances, they commonly have that, that issue with manufacturing, but, um, that I wouldn't, I wouldn't take away any, any stars for that. It's, it's still a good product.